Zack Snyder needs to be stopped. I don't mean killed, I mean restrained, stopped from making movies, shrunk down and put in a bottle city, sent to the Phantom Zone. You think that's harsh? Go see Batman vs Superman, a noisy mess and has all the joy of a child's funeral. A movie that confuses darkness for depth. It's like those sad drawings that 15 year old goth kid makes in his school book sitting by his locker during spares. In short, Zack Snyder has masturbated into his comic book collection using a quarter billion dollar budget for lube. And it's not like it's the first time he's done this. His first comic book movie, The 300, was a joyless half hour story stretched to 90 minutes through slow mo effects. Then The Watchmen, where he took a good comic book series and wiped his ass with it. Sucker Punch? That's what it felt like to those of us who paid to see it. A relentlessly dreary full course meal of rape with rape sauce and a side dish of rape with a rape cake for dessert. And Man of Steel? Snyder managed to identify everything people love about Superman and remove it, leaving nothing but massive destruction and the whiny angst of a pretentious asshole. His comments after Man of Steel got beaten up by fans? I was surprised with the fervency of the defense of the concept of Superman. I feel like they were taking it personally that I was trying to grow up their character. No shit, Sherlock. First of all, Jesus aside, everyone who's grown up in North America has a personal relationship with Superman. He's been there with us growing up through underoos, lunchboxes, bedsheets, Halloween costumes, breakfast cereals, neckties, cufflinks, yarmulkes, brawn panties, boxers, briefs, banana hammocks, wedding parties, wedding cake, honeymoon gear, and now it looks like coffins. At every stage of life, Superman's been there with us. Secondly, about growing up the character, who the fuck asked you to? You're supposed to be making a Superman movie, not a Kryptonian version of Richard Linklater's Boyhood. You want to extrapolate? Fine. That's what fan fiction is for. Zack says his movies are all about the why of superheroes. The political why, the religious why, the philosophical why. Dude, take that shit to open mic night at a coffee house. You want to show how Superman would exist in the real world, Zack Snyder? Do you realize the reason we love Superman is because he's not in the real world? Fuck the real world! I live in the real world! I don't want to pay $15 for more of it! By Snyder's logic, they should make vacation getaways look and feel more like you're still at the office! Superheroes aren't about the political, the religious, the philosophical. It's about punching bad guys, saving kittens, and setting examples of nobility and heroism. That's a problem with guys like Snyder. They always think they can make things better. They're smarter than everyone, more talented than everyone, little special snowflakes going to improve things where lesser lights failed to achieve greatness. Except Superman's been around for 75 years, the longest continuously published character in history, and it needs Zack Snyder to improve it? Self-indulgent asshole. To be fair, it seems like these days nobody can make a decent Superman movie. You know what filmmakers and too many comic book writers say about Superman? That he's too simple, that it's hard to make him interesting or relatable. Hard to make him interesting? He's from another planet with incredible superpowers most of us would love to have. Yeah, oh hum. What makes someone with the ability to do anything he wants without consequence choose to sublimate himself to human laws and further choose to help people rather than rule them? You think being a good guy isn't a result of tough choices? That it's just some default position? It's easier to understand the motivations of villains than heroes. That's what makes heroes interesting. His life is too perfect? The man carries around a sense of responsibility for the entire world. He has to literally become someone else to have any friends or a semblance of a personal life. Yeah, that's ideal. Not relatable? Are you an immigrant or descended from immigrants? Have you ever felt like a fish out of water? And are you not familiar with the experience of presenting a different you at work than you do outside of work? Have you ever been the smartest or best looking or most athletic in a crowd and tried to downplay it or mask it so you could talk with people on a peer level without making them feel inferior? Christ, that's me every day. Ever wanted a temporary break from all your worldly responsibilities? If you can relate to any of that, you can relate to Superman. Also, this is a guy who has to constantly be aware of how much strength he's using. Calibrate just the right amount of pressure to use on a doorknob, punch a stapler, press an elevator button, open a can of soda. He has to concentrate all the time to tune out the sounds and voices he can hear from miles away. He has to constantly be on pins and needles if he wants to maintain a personal life. All of these things make Superman a very complex character in the hands of a good writer. The problem isn't Superman, it's shitty writers. Every time I read another writer complaining that Superman is boring, I think, because you're a shitty writer. 
Like the idiots who couldn't figure out how to write interesting stories with Superman and Lois married. Because you're shitty writers! And the hallmark of shitty writers of comic book characters, in comics or other media, making everything dark. Somehow, dark means complex and artful and deep. What are you, some beret-wearing French filmmaker? How many Zack Snyders does it take to change a light bulb? None, because the dark is more real, man. Dark is just pretentious. It's a cop-out for artists who think misery is gravity. So in the Snyderverse, heroes can lift buildings, but they can't crack a smile. But the biggest problem, Zack Snyder doesn't understand Superman's greatest power, optimism. Guys like Snyder think optimists are saps, simpletons, boy scouts. Got news for you. Pessimism is a cop-out. Optimism is harder than pessimism. You think it's easy for a superhero who sees disasters and misery and suffering every day to stay hopeful? But he does, and that's the essence of his heroism. And that's something that Snyder clearly doesn't get. We want to see Superman triumph over adversity, not get beaten like a rented mule by Lego Batman. And that's why Zack Snyder has to be stopped before he throws his bucket of shit over the Justice League, too. You know how I know people want bright, fun heroes? Because 40 years later, people still love the Super Friends. In 40 years, how many people will care about the Super Schmucks? Bottom line, there should never be a Superman movie parents can't take their kids to without investing in years of therapy. Fuck you, Zack Snyder.